All right, so we're going to get right into today's topic, and I'm dealing with the topic entitled, This is my walk. This is my walk. All right, each and every one of us have got to take a responsibility for your own walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to keep reiterating that. Because so many times we will refer to somebody else. We will rely on somebody else. You know, so many times in a family you'll find either the husband or the wife is stronger spiritually. And so the other person almost backs off and relies on that other person to carry it, the spouse to carry it. I want to tell you, that's not biblical. All right, it's not godly. You have to work out your own salvation. So let's go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. It says this, Belove, uh, Therefore, my beloved, uh, as you've always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but as much in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. In other words, you are responsible for your own walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, we read a very important scripture. And it says, uh, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Now, who appears before the seat of Christ? The believers, okay? We as believers appear before Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body. In other words, you're getting the reward for what God has called you to do in the body, according to what He has done, whether it's good or bad. And so, how do I do something bad in the body? Well, first of all, not functioning in what you're supposed to do. You are not doing what God has called you to do. And so this morning, I want to challenge each one of us. This is my walk. This is my individual walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. What am I going to do to do what God has called me to do? How am I going to fulfill everything that God has called me to do? You see, I need to take responsibility for me. Not for Janine, not for my children. All right, I'm responsible to them in the sense of I give them the word. I'm not responsible for them. Every person has to work out their own salvation. Because when you stand before Christ, I don't have Janine there as an excuse. All right, I'm standing there alone and saying, what have you done with your own spiritual life? What have you done with your own obedience to what God has called me to do? And so this morning, I want to encourage us. Let us get to the place where we do what God is calling us to do. Where we obey the word and actually go and step out into the thing that he has called us to do. Let us work out our own salvation. Let us grow spiritually for our own life, for our own sake. Let us have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and not rely on somebody else's calling or gifting or relationship. Because I believe that God is going to raise up every single person. Every person, if you are saved, you are going to be raised up mightily in God's kingdom. Remember that there was a time, if you date David's mighty men, it was David and then he had this major mighty men and then the armies. I don't see that in the body of Christ anymore. What I see is everybody's equal in God, but with different functions. You know, even in the military, even if you were the wrecky, the guy who went out first and the stealth guy. Let me tell you something. You back off when the guys come with the tanks or the jets come in. You don't, nobody over, uh, overrides anybody. Everybody's needed, got different functions. But every function is needed. So today, work out your soul, own salvation. All right. Remember that this is your walk. This is your responsibility. This is your guidance leading and developing in the Lord so that you can do what God has called you to do. All right, so this morning, when we come around the table, I want us to celebrate the fact that I have a walk to walk. I have a race to run. All right, I have a job to do. And when I go every day in my life, wherever I go, whatever I do, if I go into my workplace, if I go into my school, whatever it is, Every single one of us are important and God is relying on us. If God did not rely on us, why would he bring us into a judgment? Okay, when I say a judgment, it's not a judgment like you condemn you. It's a reward. 
Have you been obedient? Have you delivered in the body that I asked you to do? And so I want you to understand, every one of us have got something to give. Every one of us are expected to give it. Every one of us are expected to work out our own salvation. So don't rely on the pastor. Don't rely on me. All right? Allow God to build you as an individual because we need your function. I need your function. I need you to do what God is calling you to do. Because when we are the body of Christ standing together as one, we will see things happen in Jesus' name. All right, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and broke it and he said, this is my body, take in remembrance of me. And he took the cup and he said that this is my blood, drink in remembrance of me. The body was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. And so today when we take the cup, we need to sit down and say, Holy Spirit, come and help us make Jesus real. Come and help us work out our own salvation today. Holy Spirit, bring me closer to Jesus. Bring me to the place that you have for me in Jesus' name. Lord, we just come before you in the name of Jesus. We ask you to forgive us of any sin, anything that we've done wrong, thought wrong, intent wrong. Lord, I thank you that anything that we have done that's ungodly, we ask you please to forgive us. We ask you right now, Lord, to bring us to the place that you have for us. Lord, I pray right now that your Holy Spirit will make yourself so real to us. Lord, I thank you that we will work out our own salvation. Lord, we will realize that it's our walk. Lord, that we will take responsibility for our actions. And Lord, I pray that you will just help each one of us grow up and be strong. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, we thank you for a physical healing this morning. Lord, we release your dunamis power over us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we are healed. We bind every symptom and we command every symptom to leave our body in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving by your spirit in a mighty, mighty way in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to just tell you, first of all, that we haven't had any feedback with regards to the court case yesterday. I want to just say thank you very much for praying. As soon as we've got the feedback, we will update you and get you ready and let you know what is happening. All right, so I want you just to know that God is in control and God is busy with some awesome things in our lives. All right, and I want to remind you that if you are out there, your gifting is needed. I want to encourage you. I want to implore you. Join us tonight on our Zoom session. All right. Join us where you can minister to the body of Christ, where we can pray together, where we can impart spiritual giftings even as you pray for each other. I want to tell you right now, God loves you and we love you. Let's stand together as the body of Christ and let's see God do something awesome in the name of Jesus. Let's see God grow us up so that we can do what we need to do in the name of Jesus. So I want to encourage you, all right, this evening at 7 p.m., is our Zoom session. We're going to send out the links and I want you please to be part of it if possible. Okay? And then I just wanted to say thank you once again for assisting me to get the word out around kings and priests. All right? We're still busy with some of the topics and Monday morning, I'm going to prepare you for this. Monday morning, you have a very, very important decision to make. All right? And we're going to release, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, as we get closer to the weekend, there is an important decision that I need from every single believer. You are going to be involved in this, and I need your input in this, in Jesus' name. So get ready. Monday is going to be a great day. All right. So as we pray over the nation right now, I want you to stand firm, stand fast, and know that Jesus Christ is alive. Let's pray. Lord, we pray over the economy of South Africa. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing. We thank you, Lord, for your plan and purpose over our nation in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Lord, that you are doing a mighty thing in each and every believer's life. Lord, I thank you right now that as we go out, we're going to go out with might, strength in Jesus' name. And we are going to see the power of God move like we've never seen before. Lord, we thank you that the economies will be blessed. Lord, the businesses will be blessed because we are there in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for your blessing and anointing over every sector in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, just before we go, I want to just say, last night I taught a, a message, probably a very important one for most, and that is this, you have to get your stuff restored. Whatever was stolen from you, whatever was taken from you, you are entitled to get it back with a blessing. So I want you please to go to last night's session, if you haven't watched it, go watch the Kings and Priests session on restoration. All right, it really is something that every believer has to do. I never got our family, us as a family, never got our restoration until we got this truth. All right, so I want you please to go and look at it and go listen to it because I believe that there is something really exciting for us. So as we close, we are going to do our declaration. All right, so I want you to get ready for your declaration of faith. Stand ready, believe in God that when we go, we are going to go with every one of these things in mind. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories. Recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. 